It's your girl Ashlow. <laughs> um, today I want to talk about a few different things. First off, let's talk about the things that happened over the weekend, preferably yesterday on Sunday. Uh, let's start off with Forever Duncan. Y'all, I'm in my mom's car. My camera won't stay still on this dashboard. 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 I swear every video I do, there's one word I mess up. <laughs> but it's okay. I am just so raw and real with y'all. That's what I'm saying. Forever Duncan. If you haven't seen it, it's all over the internet. Hashtag Forever Duncan. D-U-N-C-A-N. C-A-N. Yeah. Wait. D-U-N-C-A-N. Yeah. Forever Duncan. Basically, long story short, for those that haven't seen it, is this guy proposed to his girlfriend, like it was supposed to be date, date, day. Instead of date night, they went on a date during the day. And sorry about this camera. See, that's why I just park and, and talk instead of trying to drive and talk, because I gotta like hold the camera. Y'all probably see under my arms and everything raw and real. Hashtag raw and real. <laughs> Anywho, back to Fever Duncan. So, this guy, he took it was time for him and his girlfriend to go on a date, and he took her out on a date, and he ended up proposing to her. And then later on that evening, he ended up uh, throwing her a surprise wedding, and it's so beautiful, um, especially with so much going on in the world. And so much going on in my world, especially not being able to find love. I support people that do find love and do have true love. Like, y'all need to go see it. And just looking at her, you know, she did the ugly cry. And you can just tell that she felt so loved and so surprised. And it was just so surreal. So, y'all go check it out. Forever Duncan. Like, it's, it's so beautiful. It brings a smile to your face. Um, also something else that went on over the weekend so Kanye West was performing I feel like I'm doing entertainment news but I just kind of want to just voice my opinions on this stuff Kanye West was was performing in in um, New York at a wasn't his concert it was another concert and during the his set like 20 minutes before his set had to end he was like oh my gosh y'all I gotta go family emergency so then later on I um, mean news came out that Kim Kardashian got robbed in in Paris at gunpoint and people were like oh my gosh they should have finished the job they should have killed her now that shit was very hard like seeing comments like that like okay we get it a lot of people don't like the Kardashians I wasn't really a fan of them either but I am a fan of Kanye West and I support you know that's his wife and that's the mother of his children so but I wouldn't get to the point of being like oh my gosh they should have killed her they should have finished the job like that is so insensitive and so stupid for people to say that and even joke like that because what if that was your mother being held at gunpoint like people fail to realize that that's someone's mother someone's sister someone's wife someone's Auntie and Annie, as we say in Houston or Texas or the South, someone's cousin, like that's someone's family member. Y'all talking about, oh my gosh, they should have finished the job. Like, and it was a lot of people like going ham, saying comments like that. Like, that shit ain't funny. But anywho, know about that. Let's talk about me. So, this morning I woke up October 3rd, 2016. I woke up pretty early, like at 6. I woke up at 6 a.m., like positive. And this morning, last night before I went to sleep, I was like, tomorrow I want to be a better person than what I was today. That's me, what, what I said yesterday, last night. So this morning, when I woke up, I don't know if I'm competing with Amy. She sounds so loud. Um, this morning when I woke up, I was like, how can I be a better person? Sorry, y'all. This bumpy road and this car is so low. <laughs> we gonna get it together y'all hanging out with me okay this morning I was like how can I be a better person than I was yesterday so then I started thinking about like my friends that motivate me to do better and that you know tell me to you know be focused so I sent out this 
this text message and it started off just sending it to a few friends and I was like y'all you know my birthday is December 3rd and it's basically 60 days until my birthday and for my birthday basically I know you know I won't I have all these goals and challenges what the fuck is this car doing what the f are you on turn oh, fucking asshole oh. Dumbass. I'm glad I had to turn down the street anyway. Anywho, sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> oh, road rage is serious in Houston. Um, but anywho, I was like, there's 60 days until my birthday. And what I want, I want me and all my friends to be on and popping. Like, I want us all to be better people and do have better in our lives by December 3rd. So, I came up with the We Go Make It Challenge, which basically is... Every day or daily or weekly, I'm going to send out these questions and I'm going to send out these call to actions that's going to improve not only my life, but whatever your personal life is. So for whoever wants to participate in the We Go Make It Challenge, it starts today, October 3rd, 2016, and it ends on my birthday, December 3rd, 2016. And basically, it's just little steps um, to basically reach your goals, your short-term goals or um, whatever you want to call it in the next... Oh, shit. Oops. Okay. <laughs> reach your goals in the next 60 days. Um, <laughs> yeah, I promise it's not me. It's, I, need, I need to figure out how I can hold my camera on the dashboard. <laughs> that was embarrassing. So, anywho... We're gonna figure out, oh, I lost my train of thought that quick. <sighs> How we can reach our goals by my birthday. And I just, like I said, I just want me and my friends and whoever wants to just better their life in their situation. Um, type of goals it can be. It can be, if you're in school, well by December 3rd, y'all pretty much be coming up to, um, the end of the semester and graduation and stuff like that but short-term goals within the 60 days if you're in school and you haven't made not one a on a test or not one a on an assignment um you can push yourself to make that a or that b like let's say all semester long you've been making c's and d's and you want to make at least one a or one high b like that can be your goal like your short-term goal today was uh a short-term goal that you can do within one to three days like the next starting today by Wednesday like within 24 to 72 hours um, and the question was how can I become a greater person than I am you know today like how can I you know do something great so my short-term goal was to and you don't have to share it and I I'm not gonna share mine today I'm not gonna share mine but I will get on here and let y'all know once I have completed my short-term goal for the for this first one to three days um, like I said if y'all want to participate in the we gonna make it challenge just hit me up I never tell y'all my like my social media I have like earlier in early videos but my social media Instagram ash hyphen spelled out h y p h e n l o that's a s h h y p h e n l o that's my instagram and everything else is b u for ash b e y o u the number four a s h so y'all make sure y'all stay connected with me on instagram twitter uh snapchat and i really want people to participate in this because many a times we need a push you know or we need some motivation to reach our goals and like i said in a few videos ago there's a lot of money out here that we all can make there's enough money out here that we all can make no one should be struggling so but a lot of times we don't push ourselves and yeah we don't push ourselves so another goal i want my skin to clear up like it's not cute being if you're dark skin your skin all messed up like it's that's like two strikes against you already but um i put some coconut oil on that's like the new wave everybody keep hyping about you use coconut oil coconut oil coconut these nuts in your mouth <laughs> but yeah i gotta go <laughs> so like i said hit me up on social media 
uh, participate in the We Go Make It Challenge. Like I said, if you want to participate and you want me to send you out stuff, uh, leave your, your email or your social media or your phone number. However I can contact you, leave it in the underneath a bar. I got that from Brian. Leave it in the comment section. Yes, leave it in the comment section. And it's been fun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>